Hi Aries, this is your end of the month reading for August the 16th to the 31st. I hope everyone's having a good August so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising because it could be in that energy as well. Just reminded these are general readings, so take what resonates and just leave the rest. Okay. All right. Interesting energy to start us off. So funny though, because um, I, so I shuffle cards every time, but I've got the hangman kind of in the top row for the last, uh, from all the fire signs this week. So there is going to be some time for contemplation for all the fire signs this week. Seems like there's, there's this collective um, energy um, with the fire signs here. But um, what's coming out is the lovers here for you, Aries, the lovers. So this lovers energy here is all about partnership whether that's uh, romantic love, um, could be any kind of a new romantic love happening in your life. Um, there could be a new friendship, a new kind of anything, any kind of partnership here. And that's what the lovers kind of represents, Gemini energy here. Maybe it is a Gemini and you're kind of waiting um, on them. The hangman energy after it says kind of wait, that's kind of, it just kind of feels like um, if you're kind of feeling stuck in love, if you're feeling that love's not really working out for you, just wait it out a little bit here. Um, don't rush anything because the lovers is, um, seems like love's going to be this kind of main theme here in this these two weeks um, that I would say. So just uh, be patient with it. Be patient with love. Um, connection takes time and things like that. So make sure, again, we are being patient. Um, maybe something's kind of being woven here. Um, but it is taking over our brain here a little bit. We are feeling stuck in our head, overthinking, um, compulsion, fear, um, you know, being trapped in our head. Maybe we're feeling like love will never be for us. We're telling the, ourselves these negative things. We're not deserving of it. Whatever it is, though, you need to release that. Whatever that is um, binding in your brain right now, whatever kind of overthinking um, that you're doing here, um, you're kind of creating this own problem for yourself in your mind. So you need to let that go. Just don't... Um, let go of the outcome um live presently with this especially in the situation fairly especially if this is a new lover um don't overthink your way um into kind of um, not ruining it but kind of um, um letting it get the best of you i'll say that um there is <clears throat> the Nine of Cups here reverse. Nine of Cups represent could be um, party animal life, could be um, enjoying a little bit too much um, of the social life here, kind of party animal um, energy here as well. So for some of you, maybe you were kind of overindulging in that way, um, Aries, um, recently. Or it can just mean that you think your wishes aren't going to be fulfilled. Um, kind of that energy here as well. So in a weird way, you're almost trapped and posed in your own mind, thinking this will never happen for you. But they're saying, wait, just chill out a little bit here, you know? Um, it's funny because there is a, there is a card um, in the other, the Oracle of Death that is called Wait. And I just read it for um, another, <clears throat> another sign. But it's just saying things are being woven, you know? I, I think it is so true that we live in this um, spontaneous, instant kind of um, reality now. And so we think things will just come to us and happen kind of instantaneously. Instead of allowing them stuff to build, to grow, and things like that. I, uh, you know, I'm someone that's kind of, I mean, I am an Aries moon, so <laughs> there's the three on the board. Um, I am an Aries moon, so I am very impulsive. I'm very much like, no, but I want this now. I've been my inner child is like, no, 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 now. But there is kind of a nice sense of um, that weight. There is this kind of, um, it just kind of lets life happen and just kind of lets you kind of relax a little bit more. We're not expecting an instantaneous result. Um, it might be kind of, um, uh, some of you might be getting a new job or a new kind of place to stay here. We have the Five of Pentacles um, reversed. Could be getting some help in some kind of capacity. Um, maybe you're trying to get some help from dating from a mentor or someone, from a friend. Um, whoever it is, there seems like there's a little bit of um, help on the way for you here. Whether, again, that is a new job. Whether that is maybe this person coming in to help you with your stuff as well. Star energy on the board, Aquarius energy. Um, but it's talked about hopes and dreams. 
again, keep up the hope, keep that bright, uh, bright and shining star mentality in the future here um, for this lover's energy. You know, just to keep that hope alive. Um, you might also be dealing with Aquarius. Maybe this is Aquarius that's coming in here as well. But just keep that star energy up. Keep that hope um, for the future here. Keep that hope um, that things are going to work out for you. Keep that hope, um, you know, that one day everything is going to kind of work out. Um, keep that positive energy alive here. And that's kind of um, what the star card arbor represents. You're hopeful for the future. You're seeing the potential of things. Maybe it's the potential of this kind of new relationship here. If you're in an existing relationship, maybe it's good about taking this relationship one step further or you want to take it one step further here. But again, uh, get out of this space of feeling um, like your wishes will not be fulfilled, um, okay? Because uh, there is a clear decision coming up here. There was, again, Two of Swords energy. You might be um, deciding on this Aquarius or deciding kind of on whoever this lover is. And there's going to be a clear decision of kind of what you want to see for the future um, here. But let's get more on this decision. What is this decision that Aries are making? Some of you might be leaving a job behind and getting a new job. Um, maybe you're feeling like the one job isn't working out for you here. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed and we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, so whatever it is, this um, seeds you were planting here, we're kind of making a decision on, it seems like a job here. Um, maybe to leave a job or take a, um, a different job offer, whatever it is, um, we might be saying no to a new job offer that's coming in here. Um, it just doesn't feel, I feel like it just doesn't feel right. Um, and maybe that's part of what this waiting is as well. Um, maybe just something just doesn't feel right here where career um, is involved. And you're making the final choice on whether to leave it or just say no to a situation here. Uh, someone might be kind of offering you some money for something and I think you're just kind of saying no, like, I'm okay. So that might come up in these two weeks um, for you um, as well. We're holding on to something a little too tightly. What are we holding on to? There might be a situation where you're making more money um, or something offered here. We have the Four of Pentacles um, here. And maybe that job would have been more money, um, but it, it could have been, again, maybe that job was more money or you're making more job at your current job um, now. Um, but there's some kind of energy here of you kind of not either leaving for the money or you're kind of protecting your money in some kind of way um, in this situation, in this denying the job or leaving a job. Uh, maybe you banked up some savings and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to um, live off that for a little bit. Uh, maybe you're like, the money's not worth it anymore. You know, before I was so attached to the money, so attached to kind of um, keeping that, but you're like, it's not worth my energy anymore. It's not worth my time. It's just, um, uh, again, you're just feeling like it's kind of too much for you right now. Whatever it is, it looks like there's some communication coming in here. And whatever this communication is coming in for you, whatever is coming in fast, whether it's messages from people, um, from the universe coming in, it's going to feel like a just, um, you're going to feel justice in this situation here. Um, justice Libra energy here as well. So you might be dealing with Libra, but someone might be coming in again to maybe offer you something or talk to you about something. But what the um, Eight of Wands is all about is also forward action. Things are going to be moving kind of um, pretty quickly or some swift um, kind of conversation, some swift kind of action here. Um, and maybe that Libra is going to kind of be a part of that um, energy. But it seems like, again, you're just holding on to money a little bit in this way. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's like savings, but maybe um, something was really draining for you and you're just holding on to it a little bit too tightly. You're holding on to it because you made a lot of money. And now you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to leave that job behind. I'm not really resonating with it anymore i'm ready for this new kind of maybe business partner this new connection here um contemplating it for sure for aries higher fan energy a lot of higher council kind of energy. We have the justice, the higher fund. So some of you might be in um, a legal battle that has to do with money in a weird way, or you're kind of getting some information where you're kind of owed money here as well. Um, that might be the message that's coming in here in some kind of, um, Sorry, I looked downtown. I was like, I don't even know what that was. Um, some kind of money that might be coming in here or that you're owed money from a situation that has to do with the law. Um, so some of you might be getting um, winning a court battle here or something like that. We also have the higher font energy coming out, which means higher counsel. I want to see what this kind of higher font energy represents. So this is higher counsel energy. A lot of like big... Um, 
major arcana kind of energy here. So it kind of seems like there might be some um, major kind of changes either coming in or some um, significant, this might be kind of a significant kind of two weeks for you. Um, there it is. Seems like there might be a Taurus here that's causing you a lot of anxiety or that we might be walking away from. Um, higher font, Taurus energy. If it's not Taurus, it could be someone like that you see as a mentor or a counsel. It's kind of giving you, um, again, we have the uh, Five of Swords here. It's kind of like end of the battle, giving up, walking away from de situation, defeat. I feel like there's this thing with this Taurus that is causing you a lot of anxiety um, here, Aries. It's just causing you to be really anxious and have sleepless nights um, about them. So you might be walking away from a Taurus in this situation here or feeling like it's the end of something. If it's not a Taurus, uh, the higher font, enter, um, higher font can represent higher counsel, um, can represent um, a mentorship, um, therapy, therapist, anything like that, any kind of mentor energy. So there might be a mentor here in these two weeks that you're kind of walking away from because you're just, just like, this is just making me um, too anxious. You're kind of making me too anxious in a way. Um, I want to kind of get more of what this kind of sleepless nights where this anxiety kind of is. What is this anxiety having to do with this Taurus? Might be an oh, might be a love relationship. Might be an ex that you had here. Um, it's they have the two of cups reversed. Um, so maybe this Taurus is just stressing you out a little bit too much, is having sleepless nights. Um, maybe they're walking away or you're walking away. But there's some kind of like ending of a relationship here. So this might be ex kind of energy, or this might just be the situation you're having right now, um, where it's causing you a little bit sleepless night because you might be having some tension here, um, or feeling kind of defeated where this Taurus kind of is involved. Um, so watch out for that in these two weeks. Again, you might be just feeling um, a little bit like that's kind of taking over your brain here. Whatever this ending of this relationship. But the lovers is here is um, upright. So it might seem that there's a new um, lover involved here. Um as well but in a good way so maybe you're going to have that new connection is going to come in here and maybe if some of you are going through a breakup right now um they're just telling you hey don't wait the right lover will kind of come around here um for you because it seems like again that is on the way for you but there is some kind of structural things that need to kind of change right now um in your life maybe some people you need to walk away from um I don't know, there's just something about this this higher font that is just getting to me a little bit. That's feeling really controlling um, kind of energy. Um, again, could it be some of the past energy too, but it just it's just not it's just not sitting right with me in a weird way. Um, just their energy is not sitting right with me. I don't know. Whoever this is for you, I don't know, but it's just not sitting. Why is it causing you anxiety? It shouldn't be, you know? Maybe you're hoping for a new start um, with this Taurus as well because we have the Ace of Cups reversed here. Um, kind of means breakup energy. There is this kind of, um, there is this kind of breakup energy happening in these two weeks as well. And maybe that is causing you to f that causing that fear, causing you to feel that love is not for you or not um, going to happen for you. But they're saying just wait, it's going to happen. But there is this other thing that it looks like we're almost kind of working through here. And if it's not a romantic relationship, it could be a work relationship that we then kind of needs to end. Um, maybe it's a relationship with a job with a boss that you need to kind of let go of here. Again, whatever it is, just like I feel like our relationships are going to be a major focus of these two weeks. It's just, it just has that energy. Anything else for Aries before I pull some oracle cards? For Aries. Just not really feeling like a victory. We're not feeling victorious over the situation, whatever this breakup energy is. We're just not feeling um, good about it. We're not, maybe it's not making us feel good. Maybe we're, not, we're feeling like it's a bit of a failure or that we failed in a way. Um, Again, but it just, if it's not bringing you happiness, if it's not bringing you um, joy into your life, just causing anxiety and frustration, then yeah, we need to kind of let it go a little bit. 
you're kind of just feeling feeling like you're fending for yourself or you need to kind of fend for yourself here with the um, um, Six of Pentacles reverse. It just feels like someone's not giving back to you. Um, someone's not maybe giving the energy or reciprocating the energy that you're giving them. It just feels like you're kind of feeling like you're really fending for yourself. Um, really feeling like no one's really there um, to help you out or, or giving you um, what you're kind of um, giving someone, right? I feel, uh, I'm not reciprocating the energy. Say that. All right. Just pulling some Oracle cards. For Aries, please. All right. We have the sun of our energy oracle. New beginnings and great creativity. The sun brings blessings to earth, and this card pertains to blessings um, in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life and um, in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning and an onset of nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing an accumulation of important new projects, such as birth of a baby, writing or publication of a book, or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and your vision and visualizing the light of divine love pouring onto your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. I think that's the important part about it. See the future that you want to create here, right? See the things that you want. Um, understand that they're going to be yours. Have that star energy popping out here, you know? Have that kind of hope for the future. Hope that thing, there will be kind of a brighter day here. And there will be. No doubt. Okay. Again, the second time it happened today, I opened the book and it actually goes to the right card immediately. Interesting. Okay, so Starseed Oracle. The, the Golden Children, Inner Child, Tenderness, Innocence, Rare Gifts. The Golden Children, Children of the Sun, are highly advanced and extremely intelligent souls who are incarnating increasingly on the planet Earth. They have, they just gave me the message to, um, again, this might be golden, they, back to sun in sun. You might need to kind of go out and get some, get some sun in those two weeks. Just kind of, I don't know, I don't know why that resonated with me, but it was just like, the sun's going to be important for um, rejuvenating yourself here. They have little or no personal karma or possessing incredible gifts of intuitive abilities. Golden children are born with a very clear mission and many remember it from a young age, being answered and sharing it in early life. Due to their unique intelligence, they find themselves easily bored at school. Most never, um, most have never incarnated on earth before. So if you're not supported in the right ways, they struggle with the physical life here. They're often referred to as the new humans. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You may be called to tend to your own inner child and a creative idea or project or a new beginning. To create yourself of the new beginning with sweet, tender love. To nurture and nourish it. To give every chance, uh, uh, to give every chance to grow and reach adulthood. To encourage it. To water it. To see the world through the innocence of a child. To see yourself and others as innocent children. To remember that deep down, everyone is trying their best. If they are treated with a tender heart, they'll not harden as they journey through the great adventure called life. How can you treat yourself and others more tenderly? And again, I feel like this has to do with relating to these relationships that's happening this week. How can you bring tenderness um, to these kind of situations here? All right, Aries, that's all I got for you for these two weeks. I hope this resonates.